and this is not the not the way it should work so but keeping in mind you will have some uh, areas where you have a lot of uh, overlapping uh, overlapping um, classes and by using attributes raster attributes raster attributes please come on ah there we already are um you can change also then the um class color so we'll go here maybe with the suburban class in red and as you can see um yeah please save that suburban is a uh, is nearly everywhere so you should maybe change the signature file to a better um to get a better result you will you can also leave that kind of class blank and um, yeah sometimes it's uh, very hard to get a good resulting um, feature set but I think I, I have shown you the way of how to do a supervised classification and maybe the difficulties in that once again we can also try the minimum distance classification so far, supervised. Um, that was a too far. So this is now supervised eight, and we will now use minimum distance just to have a look how the um, how the results are changing. So the minimum distance is not creating some kind of probabilities. Base, so it takes not so much time here. As you can see, it's a lot m much more faster uh, than a maximum likelihood classifier. So now we are finished. We can close that and open this as well. Clear the display once again. And as you can see, uh, the distinction or the um, Classification of water is much more better than um, using the maximum likelihood classifier. So we can just fade between these both. Oh my goodness, no. The AOR layer, I will just delete that layer. Once again, using blend and swipe. As you can see, there's not so much scatter in the classes. So this is all water now. Once again, I would like to highlight uh, the suburban class. So, raster attributes. And as you can see, due to the uh, computation, there were several classes over here, or several um, rows or, or pixel numbers created with no um, with no um, belonging pixels. So, once again, this is suburban class, and I will highlight the color too red yes please save that but as you can see there are a lot of pixels uh, belonging to that class um, especially here in the northern part of uh, Berlin it, it's normally it shouldn't be that much so um, there are probably some houses over here but all these pixels you can see here are in the uh, in the forested area, and we can also check that um, using the arrange layer button and uh, taking this up, close, and just using the blend option again. And as you can see, this is a totally forested and um, grassland or bush bushland area, and there are not some uh, not any house signals or house pixels in that class. And um, this is one probability to check you in the uh, resulting scenes. The other possibilities are omission and commission errors you can uh, cal calculate, but this will be covered in another lesson. So thank you very much for watching.